Big guns, big airplanes, the clean, clean wars. The clean, clean wars. Why this ride? Why do you want 500 trucks? Because I know you won't give me 500 ambulances. I don't know how you talked yourself out of the Pentagon again and into Germany, but while you're here, just do your job. Sir, no one can do my job. Why the hell not? You told me to take a battalion in and help liberate the first of those camps that we came across. That's right. Just give them all the food they need and let them out. You can't give people food when they've forgotten how to eat, and you can't let them out of any place when they can't walk. I've heard all the stories, Marcus, but I haven't seen anything to convince General, me. General, you get out of this car for five minutes. Is that an order, Colonel? No, sir. It's a prayer. Those that are alive weigh an average of 85 pounds. Over there is a building filled with ovens. Still warm. No one ever baked any bread in them. Here, there are 3,200 corpses, near as we can tell, that they didn't have time to bury. McCready? Yes, sir. Give this insubordinate son of a bitch every truck and blanket in the Third Army. And I don't care who you have to steal them from. Yes, sir. Clean, clean wars. It's a lot, you know. How could you believe? You couldn't ever, ever understand. Could you, Mr. Stone? You're right. I couldn't understand. <laughs> I never really could. There's André. André! How are you? I've been worried. Magda! Shalom! Everything all right? No problem yet. Hello! Shalom. Who are your friends? Ram Oren, commanding Niftach Brigade of the Palmach. Hello, Ram. No, that's Yusuf's driver. This one is Ram. This must be the only army in the world where you can't tell the officers without a program. Azuz. <laughs> you must have lost something in the translation. Dance pretty well for soldiers. When do they train? We leave the training for the Haganah. We do the fighting. The Palmach has never lost an engagement, Mr. Stone. Congratulations. The party hasn't started yet. Look, look, Eric. Those are our boys dressed like Arabs to infiltrate their lives. <laughs> it's a crazy army. Let's join the army. <laughs> המוכתר של הכפר רוצה לדבר איתך, כנראה שזה חשוב.
My men tell me there is an old Bedouin chief down in the valley who has heard the Americans have sent us a great soldier to help us fight in these hills. General Eisenhower. Well, I don't quite have the haircut for it, but... We have explained it's another American officer of high rank. He wants to see you. Hmm? He says he's considering fighting on our side. Well, then you've got to see him. I have no right to ask you to come with me. He's Arab. If it is a trick, it could be dangerous. Well, a lot more reason for me to go. Convincing the Arabs is the least of my problems. not a fool. You tell me you are an officer of the American army, but what proof do you have? And you? You are the commander of the Iftah Brigade of the Palmach? An infant like you? I'm second in command. You lie! You are Ram Oren, the commander. Well, he thought he was too young to impress you. It shows that he is foolish. The only thing that impresses a man in my age is youth. Don't you know who Saman Abu Qadr is? When you were three years old, I was stealing cattle from your father. There was a man, a lion. He shot me twice, and we came to an agreement of gentlemen. I was a guest in your house. I held you on my knee. Twice, you wet your pants in mine. You have no honor. I was not a bedroom friend of my father's. I thought he died long ago. Hush, hush, I am far from dead. You can ask that bag of fat who just danced for us. And I have risked my life to ask you here because your father was a man to trust. I had hopes his son was the same. And you, why have you come to this country? To fight. With what? Have you brought guns from America? They will come. Come back when they get here. Yeah, la, la. Wait a minute. You didn't risk your life to invite us here just to dismiss us so quickly. What's on your mind? Coffee. Why do you want to take our home away? Our desert we have lived in for a thousand years and more. By what right? A Bible that is more fairy tale than the Arabian Nights? From Damascus, from Amman, from Cairo. They send messengers to tell me the Jews will destroy our land and ravish our women. How can you believe so that? So I should send all my men at once to the Grand Mufti's army. What answer do you have? Your own eyes. The Jews aren't destroying your 